what is going on everybody back at it again with another YouTube video and today well actually we already kind of made a video that video will be out probably before this one but also today we are going to be talking 76ers basketball playoffs or the NBA is back in a little over a week next Friday so what is that like four uh, I'm not really good at math like what is that four that's like 11 days 10 days away we are very close, but before I get into what I am going to discuss today, if you guys have not already, hit that like button. Comment down below on this video and hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? If you like Philly sports, if you like sports, this is the channel for you. Phillies, Flyers, Eagles, Sixers, every single day. Videos, content, everything, every single day. So I need you guys to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And turn on post notifications because there is going to be tons of videos every single day because of sports being back. Next for, next weekend, there is going to be a surplus of videos every single day. Probably there's going to be a schedule of two videos every day. It's going to be insane. So make sure you guys are here for that. Make sure you guys hit that bell and subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's topic. Tobias Harris. Now, I made a video on Matisse. I made a video on Joel. And, and multiple videos on Brett Brown and Ben Simmons. The one guy I seem to be forgetting about is our outspoken leader, Tobias Harris. Now, before the season... Tobias was offered a Tobias signed a five year one hundred eighty million dollar contract. He is now under the max deal. He is now playing with us for the next five seasons. He just turned twenty seven a couple days ago, and I think if the Sixers want to win anything in these five years, Tobias Harris has to be the X factor or one of the X factors in the playoffs. Now, what I mean by that. Yes, I know Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons are going to carry the workload. They're going to probably play the most amount of minutes, especially Ben. They're going to be scoring the most. They're going to be defending the most. They're going to be guarding the hardest players. That is why I need Tobias Harris to step up. Because when you have the third best player on the Celtics or the third best defender on the Clippers guarding you, that is when I need a max contract player like Tobias Harris to take over. I cannot have Tobias just sitting in the corner like he has done in the past. Just kind of lackadaisical. You know, if I shoot it, will it go in? I need Tobias Harris to turn up in the playoffs. He has been a very outspoken leader for us, whether it's on the floor, on the uh, in public, whatever, whatever it is. It seems like Tobias Harris does do a lot of the talking for this team. Maybe it's because I don't really know. He's a veteran. He's a veteran good player. He's been here longer than Al, I guess. I don't know. But I do need Tobias Harris to show that on the floor as well. Along with his speeches, along with everything else, I need him to show it on the court. Because that is how the Sixers can have a chance to win a title. Is if Tobias Harris is averaging anywhere near 19 to 25 points, I think the Sixers can have a legit chance to win the NBA championship. And why do I think that? Because I think Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid are going to go off. And yes, I know it is more than just a three-man game, but if you have three players scoring 20-plus points a night, that's 60 points for your three main guys, for your three max contract guys. And then you have Al Horford off the bench, you have Tease off the bench, you have Burks, Robinson. You have guys. Now I need the guys to step up. Joel, Ben, Tobias. Tobias Harris needs to be the X Factor of the playoffs, not only to help the Sixers win games, but to get that workload off his back, to get that thing, that just constant nagging, that constant ringing in his ear, off his, out of his ear, off his shoulders, whatever you want to say. Because until Tobias Harris really shows up in the playoffs, or shows up, that constant, oh my god, we paid him $180 million. Is he worth a con max contract? Is he this? Is he that? Is he the third option, fourth option? Whatever it is. It will stick with him 
until his, either his contract is done or he turns up. And I much rather prefer him turn up than waste five years and 180 million dollars of Sixers salary to a guy that is not worth it. That is, and obviously I like Tobias. I really do. He's not a bad player. I've been saying for years that if the Sixers got a piece like Tobias Harris, I think they can win a championship. I really did say that. And I think it's still true. I really do believe that if Tobias Harris can do what I've seen him do in the past, what if he can do what he did in L.A., or just half of that, Tobias Harris can be a very great third option, maybe even the best. And now with Ben Simmons moving to power forward, I really think it's a possibility that he can be that L.A. Clipper Tobias Harris that we traded a very valuable piece, a few draft picks, and a couple other p- players and pieces for him. And like Scott and Boban. But I really need Tobias to step up. And so do the Sixers. Because of his leadership, because of the way I know Tobias Harris can play and has played in his career. He was drafted by the Bobcats. He barely played there. He was a Buck, a Piston, a Magic, uh, a, a Clipper. He's been a journeyman. Now he is home. And I want Tobias here when his contract is up at 31 years old. He ain't out of his prime. I'll give you a three-year deal, four-year deal. We gave you your money. I think Tobias Harris can be a third option on a championship team, especially a championship team with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Do I think we're going to win the championship this year? I don't know. It's hard to say. Do I think we have a chance? Yes. And the reason why I do, we're healthy. Ben Simmons is looking the best I've ever seen him. Yes, I know they're just videos, but these videos are a little bit different than me. I don't know why, but they are a little bit different. Joel Embiid, his face looks skinnier. He looks skinnier on the floor. The Sixers seem like they took full advantage of quarantine. It looks like they took full advantage of, you know, we're going to be playing again. Let's go and shock the world. Because that's what this team can do. They are the underdogs, just like the the Eagles were a couple years ago. They are the underdogs. We can win a championship. I know we can. Maybe if it's Brett Brown's fault, maybe we just need a change of scenery. Maybe we just need a new leader that's going to coach our guys instead of being their friend. But as of right now, I'm very concerned. I'm not really concerned at all. I'm very hopeful that Tobias Harris can be that third option that I know he can be. Because if Tobias Harris can average 20-plus points a night, with Joel Embiid averaging 25, 27-plus, if Ben can average 20-plus, 18-plus, Richardson, 14, Al, 10, Burks, 6, Tees, 3, if we can have guys constantly contributing to the team at an average, at a very good average rate, 20 points a game is no slouch. 20 points a game can get people into all-star games. I've seen it. Middleton did it like last year. But I need Tobias to step up because he really is the X factor. I truly believe that. He can take people off the dribble. He can shoot. He can drive. He can dunk. He can do a lot. He can pass. He can rebound. But sometimes Tobias Harris has disappeared in moments. And now is not the time for a $180 million man to shy away from this moment. He's made his peace with, you know, the protesting. He's done that. He's been with the community. Now, this is basketball. Tobias Harris needs to go out there and show that he can be a leader for the people off the court and now on the court and make a name for himself. Because Tobias Harris has, again, he's been a journeyman. But now he is home. He's not going anywhere. We're not going to trade him. He is now a Philadelphia 76er for the next five years, at least. But with that being said, I really hope that Tobias Harris can have a great playoff. Because I really do believe that the Sixers can win the championship if he does. With that being said... 
Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for watching, and I'm out. Peace.